So you're thinking about moving to Incline Village, Nevada, and you don't have $5 million to spend on a house or $25 million to spend on a lakefront property, well, don't worry, because in this video, I'm gonna show you three different properties, and all of them are priced under a million dollars. So it'll make it more comfortable for you to get in. And if you stick around to the very end of the video, I'm gonna explain how you can actually supplement your income with um, any one of these properties so they can help pay for some of the, uh, the expenses, the property taxes or the mortgage or maybe the HOA do. So uh, stick around to the very end of the video and I'll get, share you, with you how people use this technique to supplement their income on these properties. So let's get after it. Hi, I'm Tahoe Tony. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe below and click on the icons notification and you'll be the first one notified when there's a market update to the real estate market in Klein Village, Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Every day, my team and I get calls, text messages, and emails from people just like you who are looking to move to Incline Village, Lake Tahoe, Nevada, and I love it. So whether you're thinking about coming in six days, six weeks, or six months, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email and I'll make sure with the help of my team that your move to Incline Village, Lake Tahoe, Nevada is the best real estate experience you've ever had. So today I'm standing out front of 856 Lycan Court and this is a condominium, so it's unit A-2. And this is actually a duplex. There's two duplexes which create the entire HOA for this little, this little unit. It is listed for $998,000. There's three bedrooms, two baths, and they are marketing it as having an extra office on the main floor. The square footage is 1,728. The taxes are $2,963 a year. It was built in 1980, but it has been refurbished. And the monthly dues are $320 a month. So when you have a condominium, you're gonna have monthly dues, but there's good and bad about monthly dues. The monthly dues, a lot of times, are gonna cover insurance on the outside of the property, sometimes on the building, um, sometimes they cover your snow removal. And so it's almost like you have less to do, somebody else is taking care of the unit for you, and so the monthly dues cover that. This particular unit, I like the area. We are about mid elevation. We are on a cul-de-sac here. So there's quite a few other duplexes and, and, and triplexes and, and quadplexes and such. We're about a mile away from the mountain golf course, about a mile away from the championship golf course, a couple miles from the beach. So it's a good location. We're, to, we're in the mid elevation, but higher part of mid elevation. So you see there's a little bit of snow on the ground already. It's November, we had an early storm. There isn't any snow downtown, it's already melted, but there's a little snow up here. Um, one of the things uh, I like about this unit, it's three stories, it's got a one car garage, which is pretty nice to do, is to have a garage when you're in a town, especially if they get snow or if you want to store an extra veal or something. What I don't like is the way the roof slants on this one, it's slanting down towards the garage, but they do have gutters and heat tape there, meaning, there is a cable that goes in the gutters and goes up the roof line a little bit that helps melt the snow so that you don't have a big dump of snow coming down. It's a good way to counter that if you have a, a sloping roof not in favor like some of the other properties here, like this one right behind me. You see the roof sheds away. That's going to make it easier to keep the snow away from your garage. Um, another thing I like about this unit, it has three decks. Uh, it's so beautiful outside. The weather is great most of the year. And so to have decks to sit out on is, is just fantastic. It's adding, in my mind, adds square footage to the house. So this little house here on Lycan, $998,000, will get you a three bedroom, two bath, plus an office, condo with a garage, and mid to higher elevation for Incline Village. So now I'm standing in, in the Mountain Shadows Complex. This unit behind me, 321 Ski Way, unit number 214. This property is listed for $765,000. It is a three bedroom, two bath unit. It is 1360 square feet. And the I believe the taxes are $1,987. There's a graph that shows the correct number if I got it wrong. Uh, the monthly dues here are $545 a month. And these units were built in 1971. So this unit has been a little bit of updating going on, but it hasn't been completely refurbished uh, like some of the other units in the complex. The 545 dues, you're probably thinking, wow, that's a lot of money, Tony, right? Well, let me tell you about the dues. In this complex, there are two swimming pools, which add a lot of value to the property, but at the same time, 
Uh, you got to pay somebody to maintain those with a little bit of a maintenance there coming from the swimming pools. Another great thing uh, that the 545 dues cover in this complex is they cover all the outside maintenance. They cover the snow removal, they cover the insurance on the building, insurance on the outside grounds in case somebody slips or gets falls. So as a homeowner, if you had a single family residence here, you would have to have homeowner's insurance and you'd have to pay to have somebody maintain your house, do the snow removal, painting the roof, whatever. Whereas in this condo complex, somebody's taking care of that for you and it's all covered in your $545 a month in dues. Now, they just had new roofs put on the last few years and they just had them painted. So there could have been an assessment for everybody. I think there was a $7,000 assessment. I'm not exactly sure on that, but I'm winging it right here. <laughs> the, the goods and bads about the mountain shadows. They do have two swimming pools, that's a good thing. Uh, fresh paint, newer roofs, that's a good thing. Uh, one of the bad things about mountain shadows are when these were built, we did not have natural gas in Incline Village, Nevada. We just had uh, electric heat. So these were built with electric baseboard heat. So most of these units have electric baseboard heat, which depending on how much you use them in the winter time, how much you're here, they could be up to two, three, four hundred dollars a month in the, the colder December, January, February months, you could have uh, heating bills that are quite expensive. We do have fireplaces in these units. So if you wanna go through with it, that, uh, build a fire, you can supplement your heat with the fireplace. You do have the inconvenience of having to make the fire, bring in the wood, pay for the wood. But uh, I personally like fires. They're kind of romantic, they're fun. Reminds me of my childhood when you smell that wood burning. Um, so that's good and bad uh, regarding the heat. The complex itself is located in a good location. The ski resort's about a mile up the hill. The golf course is about a mile that direction. The beaches are about a mile and a half. The center of town where there's a lot of shopping and, and dining and such is maybe a mile away. So it's a pretty good location. I think there's 248 units in this complex. It's a pretty good size complex. Um, the good news about this unit, uh, like some of the units on the outside of the complex, because there's natural grass to the street outside the complex, in order to bring natural grass inside the complex, every homeowner has to agree on that, and there's gonna be a capital charge, and so that hasn't happened yet. But the units on the outside have access to the gas from the outside, so a lot of the units are updating to natural gas. So if you wanna do a forced air natural gas system, which is gonna be much more efficient, you're looking at maybe 80 to $100 a month for heating versus the two to $300, $400 a month possibly. Uh, you can do that. I knew somebody who did it, it was about 10 years ago, it was about 12 grand. So it might be close to 20 grand to do that now. So I don't know if you wanna do the math to figure out if it's worth or not, but uh, I'm just giving you the information, let you make the decision. Something else about these units, most of the time the bedrooms are downstairs. When you walk upstairs, it's a nice, great room feeling. If the, especially if the unit's been uh, refurbished and because they have these cabinets to kind of block off the kitchen to the great room, but a lot of people take those down. I actually owned one of these once, that's what I did. Took down the upper cabinets and just did a, a nice uh, island and opened it up, had a nice great room feeling, and that's a really popular thing to do. Some of the units do have the stairs that go right up the middle and they split the, the dining and the kitchen up from the family room, or the living room, I should say. That's not as popular a floor plan. So if you're looking at mountain shadows, you probably want to get the one where the stairs go up the side of the house. So you have a nice, big, great room feeling upstairs. Um, the large bedroom downstairs has its own bath and then the other two bedrooms share a bath. So that is Mountain Shadows in a nutshell. Very popular complex. Uh, because of the convenience of the location. And if you get one with natural gas, your heating bills are gonna be aligned with just about the rest of the town. And you do have two swimming pools available and they do allow short-term rentals. That is definitely uh, something to be aware of. Some people that's a good thing, some people that's a bad thing. It's up to you. Uh, short-term rentals means you can have vacation rentals. So you can actually supplement your expenses for short-term vacation rentals. At this time, this is November 4th, 2022, vacation rentals are allowed in Washoe County. I'm standing in Washoe County now. Incline Village, Nevada is in Washoe County. Washoe County does allow short-term rentals. This HOA does allow short-term rentals. So not all HOAs allow that. Some of them it's a 30-day required uh, monthly rental. 
this complex, they allow short-term rentals. So I'll explain uh, that at the end of the video, what that all means to you as a homeowner. Awesome, so this is uh, Mountain Shadows. So now I'm standing in the McLeod condominium complex. This unit is number 120 Village Boulevard, McLeod, number 151 is listed for $940,000. It is a two bedroom, two bath unit, 1,089 square feet. This is a lower unit. It was built in 1994 and the taxes are, whatever the graph is right here, that's what the taxes are. <laughs> the monthly dues are $498 a month. And the McLeod complex is probably one of the most popular complexes in all of Incline Village. Two reasons, one, the proximity to the lake. The lake is maybe one or two blocks away. It's a huge complex, it takes up several blocks. So this particular unit is very close to the, to the beach. The units on the other side, very far away, are another probably four or five blocks, six blocks away. I think there are 256 units total in this complex. Some of the things that make this complex so popular, I'm gonna walk around a little bit and give you some views. The landscaping here, they do a great job of taking care of the landscaping. And the way they designed it just kind of allows more open space. If you can see in between the two units behind me, there's a wooded area and such. And so it makes these uh, very popular with people. And then um, very close to the shopping and the beaches, like I said, the units themselves, you've got two basic designs. You have an upstairs and a downstairs. And the downstairs units are pretty nice when you walk in. There's gonna be a one bedroom on one side, then you walk down another bedroom, walk down a the hallway, there's a kitchen, and then it opens up into a great room, and then there's a patio with French doors, and then a fireplace on the side. Uh, Gas-assisted fireplace, some of them have been upgraded to units, or just gas log lit. You can, it's your choice. But the upstairs units are popular as well. You do have to go upstairs, but once you're on that level, it's all one level. Again, you walk in, there's gonna be a bedroom to one side and the hallway and then another bedroom, kitchen, dining room, and it's all level. And then there's gonna be a deck on one side and the fireplace is gonna be against that back wall and you're gonna have cathedral ceilings on top. So uh, the two differences between the upstairs and the downstairs units, most of the units in this complex are two bedroom, about 1,100 square feet. This one in particular is, is 1,089. Most of them are 1,111 square feet. There are a few one bedrooms, a few three bedroom units available, but those are very rare. You don't see those come on the market very often. As you look around the complex, there's what we call a cluster. Uh, there's several buildings in here, and each group of buildings, which is behind me, is a little spa. So each group of buildings gets their access to a spa which is part of why the dues are more expensive here. And the dues also help keep care of all the landscaping. The dues cover all of your outside maintenance. So again, in this complex, as a homeowner, you don't need homeowner's insurance because that's gonna be coming out of your dues. So you only need to have renter's insurance. So when you're running the numbers, make sure you factor that in. But you don't have to have homeowner's insurance in here because the HOA has insurance on the building. So if something happens to the building, the HOA would file a claim with the insurance company. Whether or not it's enough to cover everything, I don't know that, but that's how it's supposed to work. So this is the McLeod Complex. They do have garages. Um, one of the bad things, as you notice, you don't see any garages here. The garages are gonna be like 100, 200 feet away. So it's nice to have a garage, but it's a little bit inconvenient that they are not connected to your unit, but at the same time, you don't have to go upstairs to get above your garage to get in the unit. So it's kind of give and take, like a lot of real estate, it's a, a give and take, but I'll, I'm walking over to the garages here, but it also gives you an idea of how nice the complex is here. They do a really good job with the maintenance. Probably 15 years ago, they had some problems with the siding. The Tyvex was put on upside down or something. There was getting mold in there, so they had to redo all that. It was a big lawsuit. But that was probably maybe even 20 years ago. I've been doing this for 25 years. So, so their garage is gonna be right here. And if you notice how far I had to walk, that is a little bit of a drawback, not a big deal. They do have parking for your cars. They've got an adequate amount of parking. They actually even have boat parking here. Uh, if you just need to get a permit. Another great thing about the McLeod Complex, other than its awesome location and the great maintenance, is they do allow short-term rentals here. So if you wanna supplement your income with that, you can. That's a possibility, which 
is leading me to my next point. I promised you at the end of this video, I could show you how you could supplement your income to help cover the expenses of some of these units. And that is with short-term rentals. So it's very popular for people with second homes to rent out their units when they're not using them. And some of the people, uh, depending on how much they use it, if they want to be here on the holidays, can actually uh, make a little money doing it. So if you're up for that, short-term rentals are available. We have companies in town that will run it, manage to do all that for you. There's some people that are using VRBO, which is vacation rental by owner. So you as an owner would do uh, cover everything. Again, let me be clear right now, as of today, 11-4-2022, vacation rentals are allowed in Washoe County and we are in Washoe County with Incline Village. The McLeod Condominium Association does allow HOAs at this point but everything can change at any point. So please don't base your buying decision on the fact that you can do short-term rental because that can change in the future. But if you do buy a property where they allow short-term rentals and you wanna supplement your expenses with that and that's a possibility until it gets changed, that's great. Some people like short-term rentals because they can afford to buy a property now and some people don't. They don't like the fact that there's gonna be strangers staying in the place next to them. Like everything else in real estate, it's a give and take. We have updated the policies in our town. You do have to have a permit. You do have to have a property manager who lives in town is available. If there's a problem with the property, say somebody's having a party there, the property manager can go over and take care of that. Or if uh, all the lights are left on or something crazy or trash is set out, whatever, there is somebody available locally that can take care of that property for you. So that's part of one of the requirements. And then you have to have um, some inspections done to make sure you have smoke alarms, fire alarms, and all that kind of stuff. So it's a little bit of expense, a little bit of time to get those permits, but there is no limit to the number of permits. Over in South Lake, there's a limited number of permits. And so <laughs> you may or may not be able to get one. That's a different story. In our town, they do not limit the number of permits. It's just a matter of they want to be able to take care of the property if there's a problem. So they want to have someone locally available other than a, a renter to take care of the property if there's a problem. A lot of people are able to have second homes because they can rent them out. As far as how much it rents out, that is not my forte. They used to say you can you can bank on six weeks a year, but everything's changed. You know, it goes up and down with the amount of vacation rentals. I know the vacation rentals were up this year compared to, uh, you know, four or five years ago. After the pandemic, the vacation rental numbers went up quite a bit because everybody wanted to get out of the cities. So it's variable. It's not something you can get fed on. This is what's going to happen. And then depending on how much you price it, depending on the, where your unit is located, like this is very close to the beaches, so it's very popular. They do have spas in the wintertime. That's popular. If there's a swimming pool, I know that's popular. So there's different factors. If you're really serious about that, you want information, let me know. I can connect you with some companies that are professionals at that. And they know quite a bit more than I do and they have more accurate numbers. I specialize in selling you a, a great property and making your move the best real estate experience ever. I don't specialize in vacation rentals. I do have a little experience because I have clients who do that. So that's the extent of my experience. So if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe below. Click on the icon notification so you'll be the first to know about updates to the Incline Village real estate market. And if you're thinking about moving in six days, or six weeks, or six months, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. And somebody on my team is going to work with you. And we're going to make sure your real estate experience is the best you've ever had.